Hello, hello, hello. I'm back. Right, let me just get it up on the screen here. Bear with me. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Open. Oh, God, I can hear myself. Stop. <laughs> that is just the worst thing. Anyway, how are we all on this wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Friday? Was that too many wonderfuls? Pretty sure it probably was. All right. Is anybody watching? Is anybody home? Oh, good morning, Annalise. Okay. Am I in focus? Am I here? Am I frozen? No. Okay, we're all good. Happy days. Oh, look, my reindeer are doing naughty things off to the side there. <laughs> you have a look at it on screen, Lou. It looks a bit weird. Oh. Okay, so a little bit of a um, <laughs> little bit of a um, a start to your Friday morning with let's let's take them out of that position. Um, a bit of a start for your Friday with some specials, which is fantastic. We, uh, for those of you who are just join, joining us for the first time, jump online today for nataliemay.com.au and you will find 15% off of almost, almost everything in our face, on our, on our page actually. So we've got stamps and we've got stencils. We have got um, stamps, stencils, papers, 15% off. We've got Lindy's 15% off, scrap effects, which I'm about to use at 15% off. And this is um, all because it is part of the picture to page online show that's happening this weekend. It was originally going to be a, uh, I do believe it was originally going to be an in life, a real person show. Um, and that of course has not happened. So therefore they're taken online, which is fantastic. So we have, we're going to give you some great, great bargains over the weekend. Um, the Tim Holtz Lucky Dips are walking out the door OMG, hugely, so that's amazing. And uh, so are uh, quite a few other little bits and pieces. So jump online to nataliemay.com.au and let's do the things. All right, so what I'm going to do today is I am going to play with, I'm going to add to my reindeer family since you guys love these and I love these as well. Uh, so we have got here... One, this is the medium scrap effects reindeer, and it comes in a little bag like this, and you pop him all together. You just slide his little hips together like that, and whack his back legs in like that, and pop his antler on, oops, like that. And these are just so cute. Like, seriously, look at that. No effort involved. But what the really cool thing is, is you can, you can, we can colour them to do whatever we like. So in previous weeks, I have created these little guys. So this one here, um, this one was my first one. This was actually last year's reindeer. I'm getting a little herd of reindeer together. Did you like that? So this is last year's reindeer and this little guy, we used some collage paper, we used some paint as well, some um, like a, a light grey sort of paint. Then we, I used some, I had at the time some mica flakes and we glued those on to give him a shimmer. And then I wrapped some balls baubles around his antler and added some chipboard which I dropped and stepped on the other day accidentally but you kind of get the picture um oh no reindeer down okay so there's the first one then uh like I don't know a couple of months ago we did these ones here which is which are super fun so these are using the collage paper in the background oh Louise we have a customer darling and then we have got some paint and some gold paint on his antlers. Then we've also got this guy here. This is the large one. This one's huge. Like it's seriously the size of my hand. Um, and I 
have got this guy here and then we've got this little one here which I have colored using the Catherine Paula inks and added some gold paint they're so easy and the best thing about them is they are also on special at 15% off so I'm just going to pop these little guys just off camera here so that we can start creating with this one today I do apologize about the shadows I seem to be getting a little flicker on my camera this morning um but let's give it a whirl all right so i have pulled off the shelf i want to do something nice and simple this is the sketchings number one collage paper from scrap fx and i really love this michelle logan one very talented lady has hand drawn these and i love that so we're going to use gel medium to stick this onto our reindeer Okay, so the gel medium I like to use is the Chromacryl gel medium and it is the, and I'm going to use my finger today because they're the best and cheapest tools in the world and I'm not going to add it to my antler. So I'm going to cover both sides, front and back of the legs and I'm just going to tear off some elements. I could cut it but I just want to tear them. So I want to start with this guy here because I like that one. I'm going to pop some down the side. And tearing them will give me a lovely raw edge as well. Okay, so, and I do love that the Scrap FX uh, collage paper will allow me to give a really lovely tear. Louise, can you turn that heater off, please? Because now it's, of course, blowing all over the place. Thank you, darling. Just taking the chill off the air in not so sunny Adelaide today. So I'm just going to put it down onto here first. And I'm, I'm, as you can see, I'm kind of smoothing it out as I go. And I'm going to take that and pop that down like that. And just smooth it out really nicely. Whoops. And I can go back. I'm going to take off the, um, the rough edges as well. So that's one side done. I'm going to pop a little. Let's find another pattern on here. just straight through there I just want some of these little crosses on his noggin hey Louise on my craft trolley in my office would you just see if you can find a nail file anywhere please I do believe there might be one in the clear triangle perfect thank you I'm going to stick the script down on here on the other side like so and I'm going to be adding some paint over these so that they will um, it will blend in and then take off those rough edges hello everyone who's just tuning in welcome welcome happy Friday wherever you are I hope the sun is shining and that things are making you smile on this lovely Friday morning um, there we go so I'm going to pop some up there tear off a little more and this is fantastic like look at all of these awesome patterns there's so much going on here I might take some more of that and pop it on his other side. I don't want too much. I just want to pop a little on there. But gel medium is the, the a great adhesive for this purpose. So there you go. So I'll be popping in over. Oh, done, done. I'm just going to pop that aside to dry. I'm going to, um, I'll be popping in over the weekend numerous different times to do a few little lives, have a little bit of a chat and uh, have a bit of a, yeah, talk to you about some things that are going on here in the super studio. Um, this is a class teaching week for me. So what that means is here in Adelaide, we have got face-to-face -face classes happening. So I won't be doing as many live Facebooks as possible, as I normally would, but I'll try and get on where I can. Uh, I have a class in here tonight. I have a lovely group of ladies who are coming in tonight to do some art journaling. And um, and then I will be in here tomorrow. And I thought tomorrow I might do a live Facebook from the class just to say hi to the group and show you what we are doing. Um, and as most of you already know, you can join in online and do my art journal classes online. 
Um, you just jump online and purchase them on nataliemay.com.au under the classes tab and you will you will find the um, yeah classes there. They're all whoops private Facebook group, which means that you will be able to private Facebook group, which means you'll be able to access them at any time, which is great. So you can go back and watch them again and again and again, um, which has its bonuses. So you can create your project anytime you like um, and, and do homework pages as well. The um, October class is the one that I'm teaching live on Facebook online in the private group on Sunday morning at 11 a.m. Adelaide time. So there's still plenty of time for you to jump online and join in on one of those classes. And what we will do is we actually post you out a little kit. The kit for October includes a stencil, which I think I might use today. Okay, so that you get it included in the kit, which is great. Just pop a little bit up here. I hope you're smiling there, Louise. Is that your smiling face? Excellent. Um, all right, so I've just, and I've barely used any of that to cover those. Yeah, Annalise came in and did my October class on Wednesday here in the studio, which was awesome. So we had a ball creating up a storm. And look, Annalise, my finger has gone down. It's just still a little bit purple. Had a little bit of a boxing incident and... But that's okay. That's the things that you do. I'm going to pop that aside. I don't need that for a little bit longer. Now, what's happened? Because I have used only a small amount of gel medium, it's, it's drying pretty quickly. Uh, so I'm just going to use my nail file and sand off any excess off of here. And just by doing it on an angle, it's just taking any additional... Uh, what's that called? Collage paper off and there we go, the top of his head. So it's leaving it on there, but it's just so that it, rather than tearing it off or trying to cut around it, it's just allowing me to sand off those edges nicely. So this is a lovely little tip for working with chipboard if you want to cover it and then you get that nice smooth edge so do the same thing over here there we go so that now has nice smooth edges ready for me to add some paint to in a moment and i'll do the same thing here taking off that excess with the nail file i actually go and ask my nail lady gabby she gives me any old ones um because they're only going to be used for glue. So rather than throwing her old nail files in the bin, she um, has a couple that she gifts to me every now and again. If you're in Adelaide, I can highly recommend a local nail lady if you need one. And uh, I've been seeing Gabby for many years. Support your local business. Okay. Ah, <sighs> Kathy. That's Kathy sitting in the car park. Kathy Johnson is sitting in our car park, Louise. She, you're welcome to come in, Kathy, if you like. But uh, yes, and Louise will meet you at the door, sweetheart. <laughs> we did see you pull in. So yes, you are more than welcome to come in, sweetheart. All right, so sanding off this side here. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some acrylic paint to them to add a little colour. So... Um, and I'm going to choose, I've chosen some colours that are going to match in nicely with what I have done previously. All right, done, done. See how that just takes off that little excess and it's, you know, it takes a couple of minutes to do. Super easy and effortless. Righty O. I I haven't got any white paint, but I've got a little bit of um, Liquitex gesso here that I'm going to use and just put a little on my messy mat here. And I'm just quickly, so what I want to do with here is just add a little white, not too much. Bit of finger painting on a, on a Friday. So I'm not covering up my 
um, collage paper, I'm just making my chipboard a little bit whiter because I don't want this one to look the same as the rest, but I want it to, to work with the family of a reindeer, the herd of... <laughs> no, sweetheart, Kathy, you didn't know that I had a, a, a live Facebook on this morning. Of course, you are not at all. It's not a problem. Um, and here comes Kathy in here now. Bless all right, so I'm just rubbing it in. So I don't want a thick coat. I just want it nice and thin like that. And I pop that one aside and pop a little onto this one as well. All right, there we go. So this is something that you can easily do with any sort of supplies that you have at home. And that could be anything from, you can use your ink pads like I've done previously. I do need to make uh, to try and get them all up on uh, YouTube. I'm trying to get Jessica to put all my previous Facebooks up on YouTube, on my YouTube channel, but she's doing year 12, so it seems to not have enough hours in the day at the moment to do everything coming up to exams. Um, but if you jump on, if you just do a search on YouTube for Natalie May scrapbook ideas or Natalie May, I will come up and you will see um, the previous live Facebooks that I've done. So everything is archived there so you don't have to go back and look. Oh, I've just wiped that off and forgot to do the antlers. Um, yeah, you can go back and have a look. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, now somebody else is coming through the door. Goodness me. Hey, hello. Okay, so there we go. I'm just going to dab a little on here as well. Um, like so. And I'm just taking it off the lid because I'm being lazy. All right, let's talk about paint. So now that I have... I've, I haven't totally covered it. I've just added some whiteness to it like I said because what I want to do is now get on a little bit of color so yes I could quite easily use um, any sort of paint today I'm going to use paper artsy so I have pulled uh, four colors out of my personal little stash here that I think are going to work quite nicely and I love paper artsy because I do love that they have a really a nice chalky finish to them um, so just giving him a little, little shake. And I'm just going to do a dob down here because, of course, I don't need much paint. I don't have a big area here that I need to colour. So I'm just going to pop these on here. There we go. And then Southern Skies. What a beautiful colour, this one. So I'm keeping in tones with my previous herd of reindeer. Can't get that out. There we go. Just a little. And I might just pull out a paintbrush and some paper towel. So how's everybody's morning where you are around the country? It is. It, st it started off bucketing with rain here in Adelaide and then it cleared up. And now it's gone back to cold and crappy again. Had the heater on, heater off, heater on, heater off. It's a, can't win. All right, so what I wanna do, let's start with my lightest color and I'm gonna do what's called dry brush technique. And I'm just going to lightly kiss the chipboard, I guess, with a little of this color. Not too much. And it is a really, as you can see, I'm spreading it out on here. So it's, it's a really lovely light coating so if I do it up close to the camera I don't have much on my brush in fact that's too much and I'm, I'm dry brushing is where I take all the paint off the brush when I'm done and you know it will take no time to dry and I finish it off with gold in a moment so so a little bit of blue up around here and the other side and dry brushing also gets a nice thin coat which means I'm not covering up my collage paper but I am enhancing it so I'll give him some bit of blue on the antlers right and I'm not going to use water to clean my brush because there's not enough on there really but I'll go in now with a little bit of pink 
and do exactly the same thing. Slightly overlapping and just brushing on the pink. Like that. Susan, where are you? Are you in Queensland? I can't remember. Susan's just saying that it's a bit, it's a bit stormy and now it's sunny and it's it's stormy and it's sunny. Oh, if you're just going for your first haircut in three months, I suspect you're possibly in Melbourne. Melbourne? Oh, God, I should know that. I do, I do apologise, Susan. Like that. So for those of you just tuning in, um, as part of the Picture to Page show, online show this weekend you can get 15% off of lots of things on our website 15% off of pattern paper 15% off of scrap effects products which is what we're using here today you can get 15% off of stamps and stencils 15% um, off of alcohol ink oops dropped my brush 15% off of lots of bits and pieces so now, I'm just going to use my finger this time to put on this lovely peachy coral, Sydney. God, I should have known that, sorry. Um, so, just swiping it lightly over the top, and it's becoming like a little bit of a, you know, a bit of a stain. And using my finger gives me a bit of control on it too. Flip it. Um, so yeah, 15% off lots and lots of things. Um, and we've got some great specials on Three Quarter Designs. So Three Quarter Designs is a New Zealand company and they have got a fantastic range of papers and um, scrapbooking kits. So if you like to do a an effortless, and I mean effortless, kit for a scrapbook layout or a cut for cards or a mini album, then have a look at three-quarter designs. We've got those all at 15% off, which is excellent because usually they are, I mean, they're a jam-packed jam kit anyway. You get lots and lots in there. Um, and the other cool thing about them is these scrapbook layouts with easy recipes that you can, you know, redo again in other, in other colours. So, and other colours, other papers. Um, so yeah, having those at a, a discount this weekend is is definitely a bargain for you. Mini albums, uh, we had a new recipe family mini album come in the other day from them, from Three Quarter Designs. A um, couple new card kits as well. So plenty of there, plenty of options there for you. All right. So I have now added colour very very loosely to those. Um, oh, I forgot the antlers. And I'd now want to add that dark blue. But before I do the dark blue, I, only, I know I only want to put a small amount on. So that's why it's going on last because it is such a dark colour and I don't want it to be too overpowering. Okay, so just a little swipe on with this blue here. Sorry, not blue. What colour is that? Pink. Crikey, I need another coffee. Oh, hello, Sharon in New Zealand. How are you, my friend? I hope you are well. I hope you are kicking goals over there. And it is sunny in New Zealand in Nelson, I see. Beautiful. I had a dream the other night I was in New Zealand. That's just popped into my head. All right, as you can see, there's a little colour on there. All right, so let's have a look at this colour. So this colour is a really lovely bright blue. It is lovely, but it's super powerful on this. So I want to add a small amount, and I'm just going to use my finger so then I can have control. I can use my finger like a paintbrush. So I'm kind of popping it on. I don't want it over everywhere. I just want to... I'm using one finger to put it on. The other finger is is going is kind of spreading it out so that it just becomes a really nice shade and when we add the gold paint in a moment which is going to just make it pop gold paint seems to be my new favorite thing um it'll it'll come up beautifully so i don't want it to be super strong i don't want it to be a super bold dark blue i want it to highlight and that's where adding all of these colours that are very similar but will work nicely 
is working for me. Um, what else do I want to tell you? I have a couple of new kits online. Um, I have a Christmas mini album kit, which I did show earlier today. And that is a like a Christmas binder album. Um, it's $110 and they are walking out the door. They are it's using an Echo Park paper collection that is absolutely lovely. And it's uh, a, a binder album that will take a heap of photos and that you can build on as well. You do get a very generous kit. You get about $100 and forty a hundred and sixty dollars worth of product um and we use a substantial amount of it as well um but the instructions are very visual and it is a really really lovely easy kit as well so that is available there is no discounts of course on on the kits because um it is brand new and it is something that is my hard-earned time the other thing that there's no discounts on is my brand new stencils. I have got some brand new stencils that have just come out and they are walking out the door quick smart. So I will show you those in just a second. And I might do something with those brand new stencils maybe this afternoon or tomorrow afternoon. I've got something exciting happening tomorrow morning first thing. So make sure you tune in um, first thing with your coffee in the morning something fabulous all right I'm gonna wipe that up so that it does not end up everywhere else okay let's talk about the new stencils and how we can use those here is one of them this is the hexed stencil and this is the one that is included in the class for October um, the art journal class for October uh, we will send you this we are using it in the class which is wonderful um, so I, I do love this stencil so I hand drew this stencil and hand designed it on my software that's how I do all of my designs so I've, I kind of have a look around and see what's lacking on the market excuse me <coughs> <coughs> oh excuse me drink break Okay, sorry about that. <clears throat> <coughs> Excuse me. Then we have got this stencil. <coughs> oh, something's gone down the wrong way. Just chat amongst yourselves while I choke. <coughs> oh, far out. Oh, Louise, I'm dying. Come and finish my project off, Lou. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> All right, let's have another go. <clears throat> that gave you time to go and have a look at them online. <coughs> oh, goodness me. All right, so this one is called All the Dots. I, I love a dot stencil and I love it in different sizes. So this one has got like a, a one and a bit centimetre and then about an eight mil sort of dot in a nice grid, nice and easy. So All the Dots. Uh, this one is the gridlock stencil. This one is hand-drawn lines by me and then I um, turned it into a stencil for you and that one is probably my favourite. And then we have your favourite apparently. This one is called, now you can't really tell because it is filthy dirty. Um, this is called Nat's Hand, Nat's Scribble. So as you can see, this is something that I have drawn, scanned and turned it into a stencil for you. All right, so these are all available online at the moment. What I think I might do is I wanna use this stencil today and I wanna stamp with it. How do you stamp with it? You grab a, you grab a gel plate Hey Louise, would you grab me a gel plate, please? Pretty please? Sure. In the drawer, in the cupboard, in the, yeah, in the place. Oh, I just came up with that then and other side, sorry, the cupboard, uh, this side, the first one under my handbag. Oh, under where my handbag should be. Whoops. What size? Any size. 
I'm going to need a brayer. Let's find a brayer that is cleaner than what I've got. Oh, okay. Wonderful. Thank you. And what I'm going to do, sorry, this is one of my workshop gel plates, which means that um, they look terrible. So I do apologise for that. So what I want to do is I want to use this to stamp with my stencil. So I'm using the Reeves acrylic paint, which has just been uploaded online. You will find that um, online. This is one of my favorite gold paints to use. It is just the nicest color. And then I roll it out like this with my brayer so that it is nice and even. Put the brayer aside and I'm going to push that into there. So what's happening is the, I'm just going to push it in there. What's happening is the paint is sticking to my stencil like that. And now I'm just going to push it straight onto my reindeer. And it has made my hand look awesome, but it has done this fabulous little grid on my reindeer. So let's do it again. I'm going to put it on here. Uh, so I'm picking the paint up onto my stencil, turn it over and transferring it straight over here, pushing it down with the palm of my hand to transfer that over. And it's given a really lovely, subtle stamped image. Okay, so just a different way of using your stencils. So I can now just get in here and go like that. And I can, you can see that pattern on there. Transfer that over onto the legs. And I'm not doing it too heavy. I'm just kind of kissing it so that it doesn't end up being really, really bold. Oh no, don't fall down. Hello, Sandra. Welcome, my friend. Did that one, did that one. Did I do both sides of that? I did. All right, so that's fantastic. That's just given it a really simple, light amount of color, and I can get in here and add a little bit more if I need to. And it's just got that gorgeous shimmer to it now. And now, since I've got this here, I'm just gonna go boom and boom. And it's taken some of that gold pattern and now given that a really lovely sheen. And I have got an antler imprint left on my gel plate. So what am I going to do with this? Roll it out again and I'm just quickly going to grab my junk journal. One of my, one of my junk journals. So this is a scrap effects junk journal that I have... Oops, I've got reindeer going everywhere that I have used. These are 15% off as well, guys. Um, Scrap Effects junk journals are awesome. Awesome, awesome. So I'm just going to find the right page to add this to. I might add it to here. And I'm going to press it down. Give it a little bit of oomph. And now it's got a nice sheen on there. can't waste the paint. This would be so much better if I was a bit more coordinated today, but I'm not. Yep, so I've just added a nice little gold sheen to my denim page there. Okay, so you can easily do so many things with a gel plate, a bit of gold paint, and a kick-ass stencil. Sorry, a splendid stencil. All right, so let's put this guy together. I love that. Oh, I've got great hands. Look at that. Okay, so now I'm going to pop him together like so. Slide him back in. Well, this one could be a her. That. 
like that. That one hasn't gone all the way in, now it has. And he's, I just need to get my craft knife, which I can't find, so a palette knife will do. There we go, in the gap. Voila. And now we have, oh, look, I almost lined up a little eye there. And now we have another uh, reindeer to join our little herd. Our little herd of reindeer. I'm just going to add a little bit more paint, a bit more gold on the edges. Especially under his bottom. Under here. Sorry, I just realised I was doing that off camera. That's my bad. I'm so involved in what I'm doing here that I'm forgetting to look on camera to make sure that I get it all in. Because that's what we do. All right, so just in, in finishing up, guys, 15% um, off today with stamps, stencils, patterned paper, scrap effects products, Lindy's products. Oh, look, most of the store, I just felt like, making Louise work for an entire weekend again with no notice. <laughs> oh, I'm so funny. Um, and um, yeah, you can certainly pick up a, a bargain or or three online. The no judgment postage is also back. So if you jump online tomorrow morning or win cross lotto overnight, then of course you can jump on and purchase more. You need to pay postage one time. Postage is not free. Postage is $12.50 within Australia, $25 in New Zealand, or express postage will get it there to you quicker. We will not be posting it uh, today. We will be posting on Monday, Tuesday next week. Um, and what else is there? Every There's so much stuff on special, so make sure that you jump over and have a bit of a look. Um, I'm going to pop back again this afternoon and... Uh, going to do another live Facebook. I'm going to get in here now, pack some orders uh, and get ready to get all the goodness out to you guys. Um, so jump online, nataliemay.com.au. Um, you can also join the Natalie May Scrapbooking Creative Community. We have got a great little community there and I give you the heads up about things that are happening, all sorts of amazing things, um, some pre-orders and all sorts of stuff. Um, so there we go. There is our little reindeer. I will take a photo of this guy and pop him up in a moment uh, with the links to the products that we used. And he's going to fit in quite nicely with the rest of our reindeer family. And you can find the tutorials for these further back on Facebook and back on YouTube as well. All right, guys, looking forward to chatting with you all soon. Keep an eye out for, um, I will put on Facebook when the next special is going to be. Uh, sorry, not when the next special, when the next uh, live is going to be. But I look forward to chatting with you all really, really soon. Thanks, guys.